Okay, I don't like you and you don't like me. So let's just get this over and done with as quickly as possible. So there are people without gardens, never mind access to private land. Okay, she's gonna go hard on Barnard Castle, but don't worry, I've got some ideas here. Number one, lie and blame your wife. Number two, oh no, that's it. No, that's all I've written down. Rather than looking for loopholes like you did. You weren't trying to find loopholes. And I wasn't looking for loopholes. This was about the safety of your child. Safety of my child with trying to get back to work. Excellent, you're actually coming across as someone who might have a beating heart in their chest rather than a toxic avocado or something. Keep going. How does your trip to Barnard Castle have anything to do with the safety of your child or your work? Yes. Because as, 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 as I- It's fine, just go with operation, stitch up your wife, go. I'd said to my wife, right, let's pack up the car and go back. And she said- And, and she said, and I, and I think it was perfectly reasonable. Yeah, whatever, just throw her under the bus. We haven't got much time. She said a few days ago, you could barely stand up. A few days ago, you could barely stand up. You said that your eyesight was weird and it seemed to be weird. And the only way I can be sure that you weren't in danger in the car, my darling, is if you drive us in the car for 30 minutes to a tourist destination. No, sorry, no, this is, this is gonna be harder to swallow than I thought. You'll have to stall her for a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Why do you have to make a half hour journey each way to Barnard Castle? Oh my giddy God, she is hanging you out to dry. Which would at least get rid of some of your creases. Why not drive a little bit of the way to London and then go back if you weren't feeling well? We didn't think of doing that, to be honest. Bloody hell. We didn't think about that, of, of doing that, to be, to, to, to be honest. We just, 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 Do you regret taking a half hour journey to Barnard Castle? Yes! Um... Just say yes, okay? I've had enough. Do you mean, do I regret not just trying to drive to London and see if I can do it? No, do you regret this wholly unnecessary episode in your deeply unpleasant life? Do you regret being repulsive all the time, like a blue bottle in a puffer jacket? Do you regret taking my bank holiday away from me? I wanted to go to a garden centre today. I wanted to be normal again. I wanted to buy a tomato plant. No, I had been, I had been extremely ill. My vision had been a bit weird. Don't mention the weird vision again. It's a bit, well, it's a bit weird. My wife said... Yeah, that's it. Twist the knife in. Go and crawl under that bus and twist the knife in. Go and do it. We should... We should finish your sentence. Drive down the road and you should see if you can actually drive and see if your vision is weird or, or... I'll stop going on about your weird vision. It's bad enough that you're sitting at the end of a garden behind that desk like a news reading fox turd. Don't make this worse for yourself. And I thought that's a good idea, I should do. Fine. Now I'm going to text Michael Gove and Matt Hancock and I'm going to give them examples of times when they've driven 20 miles to test their eyesight before a five hour drive in the opposite direction. It would have been better to, to it would have been better to set this out. Oh, don't let those lies get away. Later on, or all, 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 what does that mean? Have, have you given up on words now? I mean, it's probably for the best, to be honest. But I hope that people will agree that, that that it was reasonable calculations. Oh, absolutely. That's what everybody will be saying. Those were reasonable calculations. They'll be saying. Yes, I know. I'm a single mother with three children who hasn't had any help or respite since March. But I've listened to that smug creep in the rose garden for half an hour, and those were reasonable calculations. I don't think what I did in these 14 days was a mistake, but I certainly made a lot of other mistakes and I make mistakes every day. Ah, oh, well, it's a good job you don't have one of the most important and powerful jobs in the UK then, you feckless gnome. For many years I've been writing about the dangers of pandemics. Oh, don't bring up your twatty blog. Only last year I wrote explicitly about the danger of coronaviruses. Do you really think that anyone here believes you are a super forecaster rather than a devious crook who last month edited an old blog post to make it look like he mentioned coronavirus a year ago, thinking no one would notice? You are not a Svengali. You are a con man, a caricature, a sidekick to a villain in a Tim Burton film, a walking laundry basket of soiled jeans. Get some perspective, you nasty boil. What is your message from Conservative voters who voted this government in? I am very sorry and I will do my best to regain your trust. Who want you out of Downing Street and want you out of this government? Um, I would um, urge to... Uh, uh, um, uh, my, uh, we, uh, we just um uh